we go. So big paintbrush, water. We're gonna dampen our canvas. And damp means glistening, not wet. Glistening, we don't want it dripping, we just want it to look like it's sun-kissed. And the reason why we dampen our canvas is to get the molecules of the cotton that the canvas is made of um, dancing around and moving and grooving so that when the paint hits the water, it also dances around and moves and grooves and then they dance together and when they dry, they dry as one and that's how they stick to the canvas. It's science or romance because they're dancing together, whatever you like. Not too wet. I'm going to start with the top and I'm going to use just that bright blue with that big paintbrush. Just the big paintbrush and that beautiful bright blue. And about here, draw a line across. And then we are going to cover the entire top in this blue. And you'll get different shades of blue by how much water you have in certain spots, which is what we want because we want it to look like sky. It's funny in the video, this color looks different in the video than it does right here. And I forgot to tell you guys to take a sip of your wine if you have it. I paint during the day, or I was. I still do via Zoom, but with uh, school kids and assisted living facilities. And um, they don't need the alcohol to be uninhibited, but for some reason it helps us adults. We're so worried if, that we're going to do it wrong. If I move too quickly, unmute and tell me to slow down. Slow down. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, yes. Just kidding, just kidding. I'll wait. Now this is our background. It is completely covered pretty much by clouds and palms. So don't try to make it perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just our background. Now I want you to take the, um, yes. Now take the, the paint with the blue and the white kind of mixed together. And I want you to do, put both still colors. Big on, still with, big brush? Yeah, still your big brush. I'll let you know when we change brushes. We we'll, we'll use this one a lot in this painting. So do um, we rinse the brush before don't, we use the new one? Nope, you don't have to. You don't have to rinse it or anything. We're just putting the blue and the white on there, and you don't even have to mix it together. Just get both colors on there. We're going to draw a U shape. That, the, um, that, do you have a diff? I have a turquoise blue. Use and that. Blue yes, use that turquoise blue. And a little bit of the white. Aren't you using the same blue, though? Yes, I'm using that same blue as well. Okay, because I use the same blue. That should be okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm using that same blue the white, you can put that turquoise in there and then I am going to, I'll show you. Hold on. So I get these two colors on here. Ooh, I'm flinging paint. And to get that, 
like a really nice turquoise color is I take a little bit of green on my brush. This is where I want you guys to play around with it too. So we're using green, turquoise, blue, white on that brush and we can add colors in here. So I'm adding green right now and it's just, I'm painting left to right, right to left. So it looks like current. And see how I'm getting all of these different colors? Can you see it? And I'll add some white in there. So you guys just play with this for a minute because everybody's will be different and everybody likes a diff the different colors. So I love the color green, so mine will have m more green in it. Um, some people like that lighter, that lighter blue, so theirs will be lighter blue. There's no wrong or right way. It's whatever you like. And this is super relaxing if I be quiet for a minute. <laughs> right now I'm just adding white to it. But again, you can use the dark blue the green, the white, you'll get a teal color. And I'm touching it really lightly. If you can see my paint stroke, I kind of turn my paintbrush sideways and just touch it really lightly to blend it in just a little bit. But it really starts looking like water and the and the um, the current it shows movement How's everybody doing? Okay. Yes. Okay. It looks very different from yours. I have no clue. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. It it won't look just like mine, because like we all sign our name different. We all we're all different. So and we hold the paintbrush different. Put different pressure on there. So it will look different. Also, the light is crazy. So does it look better close up? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, your light reflects more close up. Oh, perfect. And you can't see anything. That helps a lot. <laughs> Is it reflecting too much? Here, let me try this. Yes. Um, well, no, that's even worse. <laughs> Sorry. It went dark. You are too far off if it looks like how her painting is, so stay with yours. Okay. <laughs> so then we clean off that big brush. We swish it around in our water. And I take the paint off on my, if, if you have a towel or a paper, um, uh, paper towel or if you're messy artist you can just kind of pull it off and now I'm going to use the brown and the white you should have a tube of brown and white I'm going to put both of those on my brush oh Still the big brush, yeah. I'll let you know as soon as we change brushes. Maybe. I'm kidding. And then we're going to take these two colors and we're going to color or paint in the rest of our canvas. 
Oops. For our sand. If it gets too brown, just add more white. If it gets too white, add more brown. If you get blue in there, I really kind of like that. I think it looks like shadow. And some of us will have more beach than others. Beach size doesn't matter. There's a giant ring right there, huh? So we cover the whole thing with brown and white? The bottom part, the yeah. Bottom part. The beach part, right here on the bottom with all the brown and the white. And if you get if you get some blue from your ocean in there, it's okay. It looks like shadow. Let's see if I can you see that without the ring? No, that's pretty. So I got blue in there on accident. But it's just a happy little mistake. <laughs> no, it were it you make it work. So while you guys are doing your background, did you want to do another raffle before we went on to the clouds and the surf and the palm trees? I think it's a perfect time. Okay. And I don't know what happened to my camera. I've been trying to, it keeps flipping off and now it won't work. I'm so annoyed. Um, uh -oh. I know. So, but yes, we do want to do a raffle. Let's do just the, um, for the market gift card and the candle, market tavern, $50 gift card. <laughs> Where's our little helper? Come here. Come here. Can you draw another name? Okay. Okay. All you right, Lainey. Okay. okay. Come on. Let's see. What does it say? Dr. Barbara Rankin. different. That's right. It makes us all be a little inventive. Yes, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, clouds. Clouds. My kids always painted, but I was terrified of paints. Oh. So is... <laughs> no, it's so much fun, and just keep it simple. You should do it. On your own, just by yourself, no one around, don't even worry about it. Okay, still that big brush, but we're gonna clean it off really well since we have brown and white and blue and all kinds of colors on there. So we're gonna clean it off really well. And we're gonna use- Can we clean it with water? Yeah, just water. Okay. These are um, acrylic paints, so they're water-based, so it, they, they clean up with water, but 
If they get on your clothes, excuse yourself and go get it off right away. Otherwise, it's there forever. Oh. Why? Do, did we already have an, an issue? No? Okay. So, clouds. You will either love them or hate them. And what I do is I put the very tip of my brush in that white paint and then I wipe a little bit of it off on the side of my plate and I hold my paintbrush vertical and it's okay if this is still damp up here so I hold it vertical to my canvas like this and I'm doing this round motion kind of like karate kid wax on wax off so I'm doing this round motion and I'm just circling. If it starts blending too much, it just means you need a little more paint on your brush. And you just circle, circle. I love making clouds. Now they're cumulus clouds, so they're fluffy on top and kind of flat on the bottom. You can put as many of these in here as you want. This is where everyone gets real quiet too. That's right. What's well, difficult? <laughs> it's not. It's circle, 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 circle. Touch it soft. They're fun. Soft touch. Are they supposed to have a base? Um, I just kind of start in the middle and go. So I just circle. Oh my god, mine look like somebody smudged a glass or something. Are they round? Yeah. Okay, if they're round, take the end of it. So you've got the round part here. Take the end and just thin it out, like into a small line. So you've got the big part here. Just start making it come smaller and smaller. See how mine are taller here and then they get smaller? Mm -hmm. So if you've just got that big round area, just start bringing it out this way just a little bit. And touch it really softly. You might even need to add a little more white to your brush. And just touch it really soft. I'll keep going. It's going to be a super cloudy day on my beach. So it's just a soft touch. And I'm just these circles. Do another one here. Just circle, circle. There's a lot of paint here. Oops. So if you get a lot of paint, like I just did, just take it and work with that paint. Just pull from that big blotch you put on there. You make it look so easy. No. <laughs> I hated clouds for a long time. <laughs> and then I finally found an easier way to do them, which is this circle. You have to touch it really softly. And try not to blend it too much. You know, if it starts turning one color, then stop. And you can even put just a little more on your brush. Like this one started turning um, really blue. I'll just put a little more white on my brush and add a few little circles in there just a couple of them so that I get different colors in here so then it turns this into shadow and this into the reflection or the light so you've got can you see that oh my god oh wow so you've got your reflection here and then you've got your shadow here and that's just that's really me pretty. that's just me taking a little bit of um, white on my brush so it's really blue right there so I'll just add a little more white here in circles and that'll lighten that up and give me some shadow and some light just with that simple little paint stroke. 
your clouds look pleasant clouds are at least my clouds look like the hurricane is coming <laughs> <laughs> that's okay <laughs> that can be the mood of your paint painting you can call it the hurricane is coming <laughs> <laughs> that's 2020 <laughs> yeah just call it the beach 2020 <laughs> I think they were saying they had like a record number of hurricanes hit this year too. Uh, I mean, what else could happen, right? Don't say that. I don't want to ask. Don't say that. Don't know, say that. Sorry. Knock on wood. I, I know. I'm sorry. We need locusts. Oh wait. Well, we already had the murder. The murder hornets. So. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh my god. I, I forgot about the murder hornets. <laughs> so are we okay on the clouds do you need <laughs> voice is so sweet can I show mine to you Oops. If you could suggest something, or I would yes. make a big mess. No, that looks great. Those, I like those clouds. Wow. I like them. Now, I can't see anybody. All I see is I like me. Them. <laughs> I like them, Mama. That's right. Oh. Mama, did I sign the ocean? <laughs> yeah. You don't hang the ocean. <laughs> I just sign the ocean. <laughs> Okay, we are going to do our surf down here. And it's almost the same paint stroke. And still that big brush. I, I love this brush, I'm telling you. White paint again. And if this is dry enough... We're going to do the same paint strokes, but we're going to have them come in this way and in this way so that it looks like our surf is coming in here. So I start, big paintbrush right here, and I start with my, my round paint strokes you know how we did up here but these are kind of bigger and they're rolling into our so I start here and go to the middle but what they're doing is they're rolling into my into my beach oops Let's see if I can hide this so they start here and they're rolling into my beach What's happening? Oh, I want to see. I can't see. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> it can't be that bad. <laughs> and then into my beach. And it's okay to get some blue in here because, you know, the water has blue in it. And we're just rolling it in. If you notice, my paint strokes think rounded. So round, round. Oh, God, this is awful. Oh, it can't be that bad. Who's <laughs> saying that? It can't be that bad. <laughs> you need to touch it really soft. See, and this is the thing about Zoom. I can't get in there and run over there and help and make it all better. I'm sorry. All right, we're on our own. We're <laughs> I can't control the situation. <laughs> oh, God. It's just rolling in, just this soft, round roll. Touch the the canvas really softly and I keep saying that over and over soft 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 
This feels like being an intern all over. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about back here so much yet. We're going to add some um, some surf um, bubbles. And if you're getting frustrated and exhaling air, have a sip of a, have a sip of your wine. Put your paintbrush down. Yeah, good idea. Relax for a moment. <laughs> Regroup. And realize it doesn't have to come out perfect. It's fun. You're not being graded on it. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> but it's art. It's it's your interpretation of this painting. Yeah, you feel good? It's great. <laughs> it's not possible for doctors to relax. They're always grading themselves. <laughs> I do know that. If, if, if we weren't dead, we wouldn't be where we are, okay? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, the best part is nobody's life is depending on this people. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so what do the bottom of the waves? How do they look? Oh, come on. Whatever you feel like. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> too much into it. You need some wine or something. <laughs> I'm comparing too much. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> Win twice. me up okay so we're using that same brush and the white paint except now I'm putting just the tip of it in my white and I'm tapping this is my favorite paint stir and I'm just uh -huh. tapping it you see that I'm I'm just tapping around where my surf hits my water and it gives it that that bubbly spray. 
It's just tapping. You need a dry brush. Yes. And see, it came together. Ew. My, my, what? It kind of... It's coming in big blotches. Take it and um, tap it on your on your palette, on your paint palette. Get that extra paint off. And then the big blotches, you'll use that. You'll tap on it to, to pull the paint off, and then you'll tap in other places to put the paint on, if that makes any sense. So if you've got a big blotch right here, you're going to use that for to, to get your paint on your brush. So you're going to pull it off here, tap it down here, pull it off here, tap it over here. So you're going to use that instead of your paint palette just to, just to get that giant blotch off your painting. You guys got real quiet again. <laughs> it is so much fun. <laughs> How many more raffles do you want to do? We have one left. Okay, we'll do that after the palms. Are you guys ready for palm trees, or do you want me to slow down? Not quite ready. Okay. Blue. You're are you still well, making should I have a little more white? Yes. Well we're adding palm trees to the top of it. You mean as they're drying they're turning blue? Yeah. Uh-huh. Huh. Um yeah, add more white to it. I'm all huh. <laughs> Usually huh. they kind of stay the same color. <laughs> It sounds like fun. I want some of that. What do I do if uh, the 
just like a drop of water that went through. Grab um whatever towel you have and pat it. No, it it's it created like a, a, a line. line that I can't cover. Yeah, um, you have to let that dry. Don't touch it, it anything until um, the whole painting is dry, and then you okay. can cover it again. But right now, it's really wet, and it's it, it'll probably take about a half an hour. You made your okay. painting cry. Okay. <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Um, if you see that happening again, just grab it as as fast as you can with the with the towel or even your paintbrush. Yeah. Just kind of grab that because it erases your, the the paint. Right. Oh. Should we wash the brush? Uh, before. With the palm trees. Oh, Not we're we're trees. actually gonna switch to the medium brush. Oh. So go ahead and take that big brush and just leave it in your water for now. Okay. Palm trees are fun. Not as fun as clouds, but fun. So we're going to use just the tip of our medium brush in that green paint. And we're going to draw three lines. Our first one will come off the edge here and down into our blue. Now here's a trick. If there's a part of your cloud you despise, you can draw the line right through it and we'll just put a palm tree through it. So I have another one coming up this way. And then my last one will come off this way. They can be any length you want them. And they end up coming into the water. Yes, what what we're doing is we're we're drawing our palms. So these are um, it shows distance. It's pushing our background that we just did back, and it's pulling our palm trees forward. Okay, palm trees. I'm still using this medium brush. If you want to use your small brush, you can. I prefer my medium brush. Just the tip of it in the green. And um, with my palms, I start at my, at my line and I bring my line forward and this way. Because we are working towards the tip here. They come forward and out. But you have to start at your line to get a nice tip. If you start here and bring it in, you get like this. It looks like someone came by and cut all the tips off your palm. So you want to start at the line and bring it out. And you work down towards the tip. And it's easier, actually, the faster you do this. When I get to the tip, I'm going to add a couple of oh my lines. God. Don't worry, it's your first one. And you'll do the other side, same thing, over here. And I know I did that fast, but this way, this way. And you're going to kind of want to fill in in between. And I'm going to make it a little more complicated in a second. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> like, this isn't complicated enough. You're like, really? <laughs> <laughs> and it's just this little, I mean, even if you notice where I'm holding my paintbrush, I'm not holding it down here because that'll make me put too much pressure. I'm actually holding it at the end here, and I'm just kind of whipping it. Just a light, wispy, longer here, shorter here. And then you can add to it. If it's not big enough, you just add to it. Make it bigger.
Okay, here's where I make it more complicated. I am not cleaning that brush. I'm putting it in the white paint, just the tip of it in the white paint. And I want to add reflection. This is just one dull color. So I just want to add a little bit of reflection. So every now and then, I'm just going to add some white. If it gets too white, I'll blend it in a little. Now because my, my green is still wet, I can go over this white very softly. And blend it in a little bit. Not too much though. You're six inches away from this painting, or maybe some of you are closer. Um, and art really is supposed to be viewed at six feet away. So just because it's too bright for you, being this close to it, it's when you stand back away from it, it's going to be perfect for the eye. So before you go and you erase your white by adding more green on top, I want you to stand up and step back away from it and look at it and make sure it really is too bright. How ironic. Six feet, huh? I know. <laughs> It's like, it's like COVID. <laughs> that is ironic. Oh, it's so funny. That whole six foot thing is never going to go away. <laughs> Anytime someone says six feet, everyone's going to go, hmm. Oh, it's like COVID. <laughs> so pretend like your painting has COVID and step away. <laughs> And see how I, I got the white on there, and then I just gently brushed over it, blended it in a little bit. So now we have some dimension to this. We've got shadow um, from the first green we put on there, and then we've got the light, which is this the white that we put on there. Let's see if I can bring it forward without it being glary. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. And all Impressive. I did is just add, just lightly blend it in a little bit and this is a simple painting but you can sit and you can add to it and do so so much more I'm just showing you the basic the basic to it but you can add to this and make it yours and bigger and more beautiful okay so I've got one down it's okay if you don't have one down yet Dr. Crockerham you have a lot Yours looks pretty. Let's see. Wow. Okay, good. Wow. That looks really great. I'm so impressed with you guys. Love it. And I find on the palm trees, if you just kind of let go and let whatever happens happen, they kind of turn out better. They're just this really soft, airy touch. I could spend all night working on these, by the way. So if I get lost in it, someone remind me that I'm with people.
You guys are so quiet right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. So much fun. <laughs> I'm like forgetting I'm with so people. You guys are so, going on right now. <laughs> so quiet. <laughs> I like turned around to make sure that I'm still on the <laughs> So how are you doing the wipes? I am taking the wipe and I'm just let me add a few here. So I've got my palms up here. Am I still in the yeah. So I've got a few of my palms there. And then I just take my wipe on the very tip of my brush. I add it on here very lightly. And then I just blend it in very softly. I just kind of touch it soft, 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 and blend it in. And it'll eventually blend. If it gets crazy and it looks like it snowed on your beach, <laughs> just take some green and add some green on top. If it seems like one of your palms isn't long enough, just make it longer. Now, you can always make things bigger easily, but it is really hard to make things smaller. Yeah, I have the problem with one sticking out like a long hair. <laughs> um, how about turning it into another palm or make the whole thing bigger? It's just a soft touch, just relaxing, soft touch. I can imagine I'm right here and they're bringing me a Mai Tai. That sounds lovely. <laughs> Made by somebody else, not me. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the key. And I can just sit there and they just bring them to me. Someday, it'll happen again. <laughs> it will. We've had a Tahiti trip planned since last May that's been rescheduled a few times. Oh. I'm hoping it won't be rescheduled again. We've got really good friends who have sailboat, and so he was going to take us around Tahiti on a sailboat. Uh, that's amazing. Oh, I know. It was like a once-in-a-lifetime thing, and I'm like, of course, COVID, hello. <laughs> <laughs> we did that a few years ago. Um, we uh, do the Trade Winds Cruise Club, and, and they have sailboats that will take you all different places so oh. went from Raiatea to ba, um, Bali uh-huh and uh, oh, that's a long way yeah we're going to yeah. that that's that's huge I almost put my paintbrush in my tea after I told you that? guys not to <laughs> yeah we're supposed to go to Raiatea and Tahiti and just in that area though La Tahaha I think Ta that's the name of it something like that Forgotten how to say it now. I don't, yeah, I'm but terrible. It's beautiful, beautiful. I, so we'll see. Keeping my fingers when crossed. When are you supposed to go now? Uh, May. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Ask the doctors if they think you're going. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. No? Uh, no, I mean, unless you get your two vaccines, another thing is, are we going to get that? Yeah, that's the... Yeah, and we may not. And again, you don't want to just take the vaccine and go. I'm sure internist will tell you more about. But as a pediatrician, you know, yeah, yeah you have to give some time to get that effective. Right. Oh, well, I 
we'll just reschedule no, again. <laughs> I'm hoping that you get to go. <coughs> Me too. But I just have to let you know, Jennifer took six months sabbatical leave in order to do that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be there next year. Uh, <laughs> will still be there. Yeah, it's not going You're anywhere. I hope, unless there's a hurricane. <laughs> You did? I plans of going to the Antarctica this February. Everything has gone messed. In February? Uh, yes. <laughs> That's when you go. We were supposed to go to Fiji in August. And we didn't go. And the Exumas in March. And we didn't go. Oh, wow. Don't be there. Don't go. Uh, it'll happen. So until then, we just get to Zoom paint. <laughs> <laughs> and dream about where we could go. I know we can eventually. paint where we want to go. <laughs> yeah, oh, there you go. That's why we chose this painting, actually. <laughs> oh, really? I was wondering. We if were going to do a holiday scene, and, and then Linda and I talked, and we thought, why don't we do an escape painting mm -hmm. where we wish we could be? I like that idea. That is a great idea. <laughs> now, if you feel like you need another um, another palm in here, stop before you put it in. Um, because if you do one, because right now we have three. If you do one, you might have to do another to make it five. Because it's better to have an odd number of objects rather than an even number of objects. It's more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. I don't know why. And sometimes I just don't follow the rule and I do whatever I want. So <laughs> if you want to put another one here, you just go for it. How are those palms doing, by the way? They're very happy, thank you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> They're in a tropical location and we're not. Perfect. Do I hear a cat? Yeah. I love kitties. I have five. <laughs> Um, you can do another palm. I mean, if it's, I can't see yours, unfortunately, for some reason I can just see oh. me and it says, oh, I like the three. So, yeah, it looks pretty, Dr. Yeah. There. There's Max. Oh, hi, Max. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't see him, but I can hear him. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I have my raider that comes in here usually when I'm painting, and he takes paint brushes. <laughs> Your cat? Yeah, he loves oh paint. He's obsessed with it. How funny! Well, I used to feed him, bottle feed him, when he's a baby, and I'd sit here painting and holding him, so it might have something to do with it. Probably. So when you're done with your palms, you get to sign it in the lower left or right hand corner and do another raffle. <laughs> ah. This is a very simple painting, but it comes out so pretty. They want to do, so we're probably going to be here for the next three, four hours. <laughs> I, <laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> I am at least. <laughs> How that goes. 
Well, I will have them give you my number and you can FaceTime with me and we will get this painting done. Oh, no, we don't want that. Trust me, you don't want that. You'll have us all there. <laughs> That's okay. Not a good idea. I don't mind. <laughs> I just like painting with people. Yeah, do we want to sign it with our first names and then say San Joaquin... Medical Society 2020 and then take a picture of it and send it to Lisa. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. You don't have to put Medical Society on it if you don't want, but sign your sign your name in 2020. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that would be awesome, I think, for, for the record. Totally. Yeah. No, I love it. I'm gonna put And I'm gonna take I'm gonna have you guys all hold them up and I'm gonna take a a zoom picture of you i'm so annoyed about my camera not working it's i troubleshooted it and it said just restart my computer and we can't do that <laughs> <laughs> i'm actually gonna put a white mask in next to my name there you go that is I a cute it. idea <laughs> that is a cute idea how's everyone doing on their palms uh, wow, crickets. Michelle. Look at that. <laughs> Look at you girls. You guys are, they're like identical. <laughs> like some artsy <laughs> sisters. <laughs> oh, Dr. Foster, yours is really pretty. You guys are really good. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. So good. I think my palm fronts are a little narrow, right? No, you're, I think they're good. I would love to do that. That would be amazing. <laughs> to put faces to the voices because you guys are cracking me up. <laughs> My cheeks hurt. <laughs> it's all done. Oh, that little voice. <laughs> Bottom right corner, I think. Right, left. It doesn't matter where, where, uh, whatever your preference is. So which one is um, your little one's favorite? Oh, they both did masterpieces of their own. Oh, they did? <laughs> oh, I have to see those. You'll have to send me a picture of those. A little bit of a mess. <laughs> of course they are, but how proud of them are they? They probably are so happy with them. on themselves <laughs> hey it's okay they're washable <laughs> their clothes aren't though what's <laughs> that paint's on there yeah. it's on there today. 